Okay, hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Not a tier list, not a fucking pit pros, something completely original, something that has never been done before, something that is going onto the internet for the first time ever. We are gonna be looking at other people's merchandise and criticizing it. Totally original concept. Now I figured we might as well just talk about some of the bands that I've already featured on the channel here. So we're gonna start with one of my favorites. We got Drain. Drain's a great band, so I went onto their merchandise website here, and this is what they have to offer. Basically, they have this one logo, uh, the badass flame shirt, which is pretty sick. I don't, I don't hate that. And then there's something missing here, but it's the badass flame hoodie, so it's just the same thing as this, but the hoodied version. I don't think we can get a zoomed in version, but I love that graphic. Normally I don't like graphics on the back, but that's sick. The way that they use that E from the Epitaph logo at the end of Hardcore, California Hardcore. Which brings me to the point that I think it's great that Drain are on that record label. Because um, they came off of Revelation, which was also a pretty sick label and also very suiting for them. But this is just representative of them moving up in the world, I guess. Badass fucking hat! <laughs> just because of the name of that, I love it. And it's $30, which is quite the price point. Let's take a quick look at it close up it's got the orange rope across it so it's like a sailor hat kind of thing it's like a sailor hat meets a dad hat meets a hardcore band hat all in one kind of thing so, yeah sail on hell yeah with the gold rope kind of cool it's got the song title on the inside the adjustable the adjustable back, yeah, it snap back, pretty good. You got the Epitaph embroidered logo on the side. Pretty sick fucking hat. That is a badass motherfucking hat. And I would own that. I would wear that thing. But that's kind of like a, I don't know. You're going to stick out in the crowd wherever you wear that thing, which is, you know, sometimes it's what you want, sometimes it's not what you want. But you got to know. <laughs> it's sold out. People are loving it. So all of this shit seems to be sold out, except for this middle shirt. Which I see why. I don't love this shirt that much either. I don't like how the stripes go into the armpit and then around the arm. Maybe it looks better when you're wearing it, but just right here it looks kind of looks kind of shitty. Um, but their logo looks pretty fucking high quality printed on there, which is dope. I like the way that they incorporated the Epitaph logo. Now, normally you don't really like to see brand logos all over the place, but I think... The Drain's kind of a, a newish band. Epitaph is like a legendary label. It's kind of cool to see these two entities working together. So Drain, I'm not going to be putting this on a tier list, but I will be. I will be giving it a final grade. It's not a not a huge selection, and the selection that is there is dope. But it's mostly sold out, so you can't really buy anything. But that's not really going to be a factor. The scarcity only makes it kind of better, I think. So yeah, Drain, I think uh, I give you. And um, an A minus. That's your final grade. Next band, Scowl. One of the coolest bands going right now. Everybody seems to be into Scowl, judging by how everything is sold out except for these six shorts. Now, if somebody that's watching this video wants to buy me these sweet shorts, I might get into jogging just so I could show these off. I'll go for a run wearing Scowl shorts, for sure. But that's just the stuff that's available. Let's take a look at the stuff that is sold out. This is kind of like a, uh, like a brownies, like a Girl Scouts kind of logo. And I like that. That looks kind of sick. I would wear that. I like the fucking yellow highlights around the neck and the arm. The really simple flower in the middle. The zip code. Real nice. Real cool. Now this fucking shirt. Holy shit, that is a badass shirt. I can see why this thing is sold out. Fuck, man, with the motorcycle and the eagle and the band logo and the fucking reality after reality. That's so sick. That's a goddamn amazing shirt. Holy fuck. I love Scowl. This is kind of just a classic t-shirt. I do like their, their logo. I like the color yellow. This is not bad. Not really that creative. Not that inventive. Same with this. But already, like, that logo on, a, like, a black shirt... Even though they're such a brand new band, that is looking iconic already. So I think this band has a fucking lot of potential. Oh, that's cute. It's like these like little animals and then scowl in, in blocks. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I'd rock that. Yeah, for sure. Fuck yeah. I'd buy that fucking thing right away. Scowl, this is, this is kind of A plus material. This is fucking awesome. Really well done. A lot of thought was put into this. You're like you realize that as a hardcore band, merchandise is how you make your money. So they really they really went out and did it. So good for them. 
That's pretty sick. Next band, Tsunami. <laughs> Everybody loves themselves some Tsunami. Now I think we might be getting another A plus fucking merchandise store here. Oh my God, the bush hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's unbelievable. I love that. That's insane you know like that's just that's like such a cool item because you know that that's something a member of the band and you know they're just like i want oh, i want like a camo bush hat with our logo on it and here it is it's fucking it's made for the pit it's unbelievable this is taking merchandise to another level like okay our fans are slammers we got to give them some slam wear this right here this hat this is slam wear for sure man all these shirts are slam wear look at that <laughs> A blown out cop car, 187 on a pig. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> These guys are as edgy and as badass as you can fucking get. Fuck you. I listened to Tsunami. <laughs> Real bass shit. <laughs> man, I get such a kick out of them. I don't know if they're supposed to be like, guns are scary and edgy and we're badass, but to me, I find it just so <laughs> funny and kind of heartwarming and kind of just like, yeah, kind of wholesome. <laughs> and I know they want it to be the opposite of that. Because look at this, with the two guns pointed right at you. <laughs> but this is like a 90s rapper's shirt that you'd find at just like any shitty store. Like this is like a rip-off shirt. I love it. It's unbelievable. You can see like Tupac's face and Biggie's face just plastered in there and it would still make sense. You know? <laughs> That's unbelievable. And then these fucking track pants. Oh, you can keep going on this fucking website. Great merchandise. This is their their merchandise is entertainment. Like this is great. I'm sucked in. Oh my god, this is beautiful stuff. But then this is another example of making gear for slamming, you know, because I've seen their sets, you know, and there are sometimes guys wearing these balaclavas, these ski masks, and they're like, hey, we're just gonna sell those things right back to you. <laughs> it's a fucking great idea. Love to see it. And I love the logo on the pink hoodie. I would wear the shit out of that. That's fucking so sick. Yeah, Tsunami. A plus 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 plus. This is the best fucking merch store I've ever seen in my life. This is unbelievable. And you got the fucking seven inches. Oh, god damn. So sick. And now going from Tsunami to Turnstile. And you can buy their stuff on vinyl too, which is kind of sick. I don't like this logo, Turnstile. That sucks. And this is just like a an annoying shirt. Okay, this is like a nothing boring shirt. I'd hate that. Same with this. Even though this little logo here, whatever that is, is kind of interesting. The GT, I don't love it. It's kind of boring. It's mostly just a gray shirt for $25. Whoa, I don't know if I agree with that. $25 glow on t-shirt with the fucking band picture in the middle. Pretty classic, but don't love it. Pretty boring. Pretty fucking boring run of the mill t-shirt over here, turnstile. This is another boring ass shirt. Just the fucking album cover. I have a great EP, by the way, on just a white shirt, 25 bucks, Love Connection tee. Not a fan, not a fan of that at all. However, I do love this Turnstile logo with the heart and the lips and the eyes. I think that's so sick. Looks fucking sick on the hoodie. $50 for that, that's a pretty good ask. I don't mind that at all. Love the same logo on the pink shirt. That's fucking awesome. I'd fucking wear the shit out of that. Dope as fuck. $25, yes, please, not bad at all. And then this last t-shirt, I think it's just the band chilling up against a car with the logo. There's not, nothing special there. Pretty okay. I would give them a um, C minus. Next band. Oh, great band here. We got one step closer, but this is not a lot of selection. <laughs> and I follow these guys on Instagram and they normally have a lot of really cool shit. They do like one-offs of stuff, maybe like skateboards and stuff. And none of that is represented here. But anyway, let's take a look at what we got. Uh, we got just like the plain t-shirt, one step closer. You got some knights, you got some wizards. It's okay, it's not the best. I'd still wear it, but I mean, I'm not going out of my way for it. If I went to their show and that was there, I would definitely, I would definitely buy it. But I'm not ordering it from here. This is kind of an annoying mess. What the fuck is going on on this shirt? Well, I can't really see. Sleep ringer shirt? Well, I don't know. If I sleep, Will this all just go away? Kind of emo as fuck. I don't know if I'd wear that one. I do like this one, even though it does look like a not-for-profit hunger organization. <laughs> but, like, I'd still wear it. It's kind of weirdly ironic. I like these stars and this globe being held up by the guy. It's pretty cool. I could, I could go without the globe, but it's whatever. Yeah, so this web store, 
Uh, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of failing for me actually. This is kind of a big fat ass. It's not an F, man, because you got your bare minimum. They are just like reaching the bar. Here's a record. Here's a shirt. Here's a shirt with the record. Here's a fancy shirt. Here's a fancy shirt with the hood. And here's a shirt that no one wants. Yeah, okay. C plus. Next band. I don't know if this is an official web store because this band haven't put out a record in I don't know fucking how long. But this is Gorilla Biscuits. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I wear this shirt all the time. And this is an A++ shirt, in my opinion. I wanted this shirt for so long, my sister gave it to me for uh, a present, and I loved it. And I still wear it. <laughs> I mean, I still wear it. I wear it every day. <laughs> none, of, none of that's true. I wear it sometimes. I wear it occasionally. It's a great shirt. <laughs> it looks great in black. Um, classic logo. Yeah, man, these guys. But yeah, I love, I love that. Even though it's like... Pretty busy as fuck, but god damn would I ever wear the shit out of that shirt. That's so cool. I love the purple and green. It's just so like radical, you know? Oh yeah, all these shirts rule. Oh, this is all great. This is just all classic Gorilla Biscuits A-plus material. Next band, current band doing current things. We got Converge. We got a lot of blacks. We got a lot of whites. <laughs> we got a lot of reds. This, this all seems a little fucking too art school for me, a little too try hard, a little bit too elite, you know, a little bit too pretentious. Hey, we got real art by real artists. This is very impactful and meaningful and emotional stuff. Blood Moon Converge, oh my god, so fucking badass. I don't know, dude, I'm not into this shit. I wouldn't wear any of this stuff. Maybe the three quarter length t-shirt here. Maybe that. But I still don't love the fucking hand logo here. You fail me. <laughs> no, I don't love that. Okay, as we go down, nothing to write home about. I don't want to show any of this stuff off. I don't like it at all. I think it's all fucking kind of boring as shit. Which kind of sucks because Converge is a legendary band. They've been going for a long time. But their newest stuff, man, I am not feeling. Next band, Knocked Loose. I think we're going to have a lot of the same sort of pretentious problems here. A lot of the elitist fucking, we are artists, dark, tormented artists stuff going on here. Which is fine. It's a little bit too metal for me, actually, you know? But it does suit their sound because they are kind of, they are a lot on the metal side of hardcore, which is very true. But I wouldn't be caught wearing this shit. This is not my aesthetic. I think this stuff kind of fucking sucks. But you know, that's why it's subjective. And they are one of the biggest bands and I know that they, they move merchandise. Like this is ugly as fuck, bro. What the hell? That has no reason to exist. You got the <laughs> track list. Just mug shots in red of the band. Awful fucking font. It's supposed to be like a film poster, I guess. But it, it, it is way off the mark, in my opinion. I'm not wearing that shit at all. Oh man, I would buy this though. This is a great record. Great little colored vinyl. That's fucking sick. And I hate how they have the fucking old ham logo there, man. That's like Old Navy, and when you see it from afar, it looks just like an Old Navy shirt, and I don't think it's cool, and I don't know why they're doing it. It's so fucking lame. I don't think it's cool at all, and especially when they're, like, wearing their own hoodies as they're playing their songs live. I think it's the lamest fucking shit ever. And I, I don't really care if, like, a band wears their own stuff. I know there's, like, a, an unwritten rule that you shouldn't do that, but I don't give a fuck about that. But when it's, like, this, and it looks just, like, out of the corner of your eye that they're wearing an Old Navy shirt, it's whack as fuck. And unlike Scowl, the shorts are the only thing sold out from Knock Loose. I wonder why that is. <laughs> well, you can buy any of this fucking trash. Nobody wants any of this garbage. But the plain shorts with just the band logo, that'll sell out instantly. <laughs> Much else going on here, guys, to tell you the truth. Okay, all this stuff near the bottom here, all this shit sold out. Yeah, all this stuff kind of rules. This is like a classic t-shirt right here. This is a classic Knock Loose t-shirt right here. This should sell out. This is an amazing shirt. I love the way it's blocked off like panels from a graphic novel and it's just all like pasted together. That is a hardcore shirt. That fucking thing looks amazing, but you can't buy it. The shorts are sold out. Yeah, they used to have cool stuff. The stuff for their current run is not cool. So I'm gonna give these guys a, a B minus. Next band, a band that doesn't exist anymore, a band that I love, Title Fight, a band that everyone loves. Yeah, I would wear every one of these things, but you know, they're very nostalgic and they just hold a really special place in my heart. And if I saw any of these things out in the wild, I would just be like, oh my God, <laughs> maybe just like break down crying. No one stays at the top forever. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna start bawling. Next band. Last band. H2O. 
The reason why I wanted to talk about H2O is because Toby just put out this children's book and it's fucking cool as hell, man. And it's a lot of really punk rock messages, but wholesome as fuck for the whole family. Great for the children. The podcast, t-shirt, this is just like the stuff that a guy that has a podcast and a band should have as merchandise. But the fucking book is so fucking cool, guys that I just gotta give Toby Morris a huge shout out right now. And if you're looking for our last minute birthday gift, Christmas gift or whatever, uh, for someone with a kid, I think that this should be it. All right, well that's gonna be the end of what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, bye.